O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Our first hymn, Morning Has Broken. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Welcome to you all as we come together once again to okay. share in this Eucharist, remembering Jesus and his disciples gathering together to share a common meal and to express their solidarity as members of the Kingdom of God. So we come to express that solidarity in these unfortunate continuing circumstances. The second Sunday before Lent is always a time to give thanks for creation. So we begin with Morning Has Broken as our first hymn. Here, not on a bright summer's day, but in the midst of winter, recognizing that this creation has both promise, wonder, but also sadness and difficulty. We bring all those things together today as we make our confession. Human sin defigures the whole creation, which groans with eager longing for God's redemption. We confess our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth, and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works, and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things, 
now and forever. Amen. We hear our readings from Scripture. The first reading is from the book of Proverbs. <clears throat> does not wisdom call and does not understanding raise her voice? The Lord created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his act of long ago. Ages ago, I was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with waters. Before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth. When he had not yet made earth and fields, or the world's first beat of soil. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountain of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not transgress his command when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was beside him like a master worker, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him, always rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the human race. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a second reading from Paul's epistle to the church at Colossae. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church, he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so, what's, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second hymn, Come Let Us Join Our Cheerful Songs. spoken to us by the Son, through whom he created the worlds. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born, not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May the words of my lips and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. So here, in between Epiphany and the beginning of Lent, here at the beginning of February, some of the darkest and coldest days with wet snow coming down outside, not even beautiful snow, but proper London wet snow coming down. We celebrate creation. As I said at the beginning, I think it's easier to celebrate creation on a balmy summer's day than it is on a day like today. But I think this gives us a true picture of what it is that we are celebrating. As we hear from scripture that engagement of God with created order and an attempt to understand that from the very earliest times, from the descriptions of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden through to the description we heard from the book of Proverbs about wisdom. The concept of wisdom in Jewish thinking arrived quite late, it isn't there at the time of the writing of Adam and Eve, but it is there then after the exile when experiencing those Eastern philosophies, the Jews began to understand the place of wisdom within creation. And here we have this, this understanding of wisdom as a positive force cooperating with God to create this world and to sustain it. And that, of course, then develops both into the understanding of Jesus as the Son of God, which we hear from John's Gospel, and also of the third of the Trinity, of the Holy Spirit, also an understanding that derives from that picture of wisdom from the Old Testament. And so the, the, the Trinity itself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit resonates with this sense of an engagement with the created order and with us, men and women, the human race. As we know, that does not make everything perfect. We do not live in the best of all possible worlds. We ourselves are fallible, and this is a fallible world. Those who give up on God because things don't turn out right, who think that um, there is no point in a God if you can't just say your prayers for something nice and it doesn't happen. That is not the God that I believe in, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This created order is by no means perfect, but it is a material reality that can be wonderful to live in 
and as we have known for the last year, can be terrible too. This is the nature of creation. We're, we're not in heaven and we are not children who simply are looked after by our God in heaven. We are asked to cooperate with God in that work of creation and sustaining this world. We therefore have to grow up as the disciples grew up to become the ambassadors of Jesus in the world. So we must go up to become ambassadors of this creation. And that requires cooperation. Those who are saying, I don't need to take a vaccine because God will protect me, do not understand that nature of cooperation. That our skills, our wisdom, our artistic abilities are all here not just as playthings, but is to be part of that created creativity of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so those vaccines are part of the created order that is set in motion by God. It doesn't mean that everything we do is good, as we know really well. Not everything in this created order sustains us. It is full of danger as well. And our role is to ensure that those dangers are minimized, to correct imperfection where we can, but to be faithful stewards, not to increase that evil and danger in this world by our possessiveness and our greed, but to cooperate with the wisdom of God so that human beings and created order may work together as God works with us. We can then take pleasure both in the human race and in this world around us. And here, at this moment in the depth of winter, still the pandemic raging around us, let us take a moment to celebrate this world in which we live. Because as John says, the light is not overcome by the darkness and the light shines in our hearts and in the midst of this world. Amen. Now I'll say together our creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> The response to the petition, God of life, is hear our prayer. God of life, hear our prayer. Let us pray to God the Almighty, the King of creation. God said, let there be light. Eternal God, we thank you for the light and your truth. We praise you for your fatherly care in creating a universe which proclaims your glory. Inspire us to worship you, the creator of all and let your light shine upon our world. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the heavens. 
We thank you for the vastness of the universe and the mysteries of space. We pray for all scientists and astronomers who extend the boundaries of our knowledge. As we contemplate the wonder of the heavens, confirm us in the truth that every human being is known and loved by you. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let the waters be gathered together and let dry land appear. We thank you for the beauty of the earth, for the diversity of land and sea, for the resources of the earth. Give us the will to cherish this planet and to use its riches for the good and welfare of all. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let there be light in the sky to separate the day and the night. We thank you for the warmth of the sun, the light of the moon, the glory of the stars. We praise you for the formations of clouds, the radiance of dawn and sunset. Save us from wasting or abusing the energy on which all life depends. Open our eyes to behold your beauty and our lips to praise your name. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let the waters bring forth living creatures and let birds fly across the sky. We thank you for the teeming life of the seas and the flight of the birds. Help us to protect the environment so that all life may flourish. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind. We rejoice in the variety of animal life. Grant us grace to treat all animals with respect and care, to protect endangered species, to preserve the variety of habitats, and to honour the delicate balance of nature. God of life, hear our prayer. God said, let us create human beings in our own image. We pray for the human family. We exult in its diversity and giftedness. We repent of its sins, divisions and violence. By the power of your spirit, restore your image within us through Christ who came to remake us by his death and resurrection. God of life, hear our prayer. In the midst of this world, we pray for those who suffer. Pray especially for those who are infected by the virus, for those who have lost loved ones, Pray too for the work of doctors and nurses, for scientists who work for a cure. And we remember those who have asked for our prayers, especially from our intercession list, Ruby Bain, Bob Blunt, Barbara Fisher, Joyce Lean, Agnes Friedrich, Magda Zagon, Henrietta Hazley Jones, Mary Hutchins, Ernie Hall, Philip Cahill, Mary Selleck, Ben Madukwe, Jamie Smith, Leroy and Thelma James, Sandra Fennick, Anne Williams, Fiona Singleton, Ian Bokes, Yekaterina Aliba, Sheila Fay, Lynn Manners, Angus Petrie, Martin Yenjevsky, Anne Hall, Eileen, Jalel, Rita Green, Kathleen Sullivan, and Eddie Edwards. God of life, hear our prayer. And in this material world, in which things, all things pass. We remember those who have died. Amongst the recent departed, we pray for the repose of the soul of Moira McHugh Barisoni and those whose years mind to care at this time, especially Violet Horton, Harry Silk, Charlie Pinckney, Ruth Lamphill, Nancy Fetters, Alice Adams, Jean Haynes, Peggy Shipman, and Bill Morley. God of life, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have filled the world with beauty. Open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness for the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You should go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Please share the peace in the chat while we sing our next hymn, All Creatures of Our God and King. <clears throat>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have created the heavens and the earth and formed us in your own image. In the fullness of time, you sent forth your Son, your eternal Word, who laid down his life for our salvation and rose from the grave, the first fruits of your new creation. You sent forth your holy and life-giving Spirit to give life to our mortal bodies and to renew the face of the earth. Therefore, with all the heavenly hosts, we give voice to everything that you have made and sing the eternal hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so far the calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of St. John and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray with confidence to the Father as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> we break this bread 
to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God, for this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. everyone who conquers, says the Lord, I will give permission to eat from the tree of life that is in the paradise of God. God our creator, by your gift the tree of life was set at the heart of the earthly paradise, and the bread of life at the heart of your church. May we who have been nourished at your table on earth be transformed by the glory of the Saviour's cross, and enjoy the delight of eternity, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you and also with you. 
May God the Father who clothes the lilies of the field and feeds the birds of the air provide us with all we need for life in its fullness. Amen. May God the Son who fed the 5,000 and turned water into wine feed us with his life and transform us in his love. Amen. May God the Holy Spirit who hovered over the waters of creation and formed the world from chaos form us in the likeness of Christ and renew the face of the earth. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and those that you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Our final hymn, Thou whose, Thou whose Almighty Word. Tend the air, care for God's good creation, and bring forth the fruits of righteousness. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>